should clear up soon, I imagine. Lovely day for it. Couldn't be better, thanks. Did you see the Piper's match? Lovely Smash day for it. it. Lovely day for it. Lovely weather. Don't you just love the smell of mottoline? It's so modern. Lovely day for it. You know, I think someone's looking for you. All right. Watch out for scurvy. Uncle Jack says. Lovely day for it. They say you see the oddest shadows in the street at night. I never look. There you are. See you at the pub. Sorry, mustache. Right as rain, right as rain. Next time, stop after the first pipe man. Looks like the old printing office is pretty well buttoned up. I wonder if there's a way in the back. You all right? He did it! Right. I know he did! Done for this man. He did it! I know he did! Wet blanket! They did it! I know they did! Oh right! No What's more, Mr. Nice Guy! That's the one that did it! Right! Right! I'm done pulling her out! You've made your joy! I'm it for the next minute! <laughs>
just uh, watching the day go by. Well, that feels entirely too good. I was going to have to call a Bobby. Lovely day for it. All right. There you are. Oh, it's been a while. Couldn't be better, thanks. You flirt. Don't you look well? I got a new compliment machine. Lovely day for it. Did you hear about Constable Rossetti's wife's cake? All right. Did you hear? Mrs. Sapper found a bomb buried in her garden. There are peepers patrolling the park. I should snoop around a bit. Should clear up soon, I imagine. I'm going to take fans' eye lessons. Lovely weather. Do you remember when we used to swim in the river? I don't. Looks like the old printing office is pretty well buttoned up. I wonder if there's a way in the back. Detector. I better take my joy.
Flown a long ways. What's done is done. Nothing to see here. The past is history. Now, now, mind your own business. Yesterday is no You know what? <laughs> Never mind. Next week? Arthur? Arthur Hastings! Lovely day for it. Don't you lovely day for it, me, you idiot? It's me! Sally! Oh, I knew it was you. I mean, the glasses, the hair, the really adorable jacket. Don't ask me how, you're not that awkward little boy anymore, are you? But the way you walk, it's, it's like the mask isn't even there. I just, I just knew there's Arthur. Sally? You look fantastic. This ancient thing? I've had it two weeks. I'm out of my mind with boredom. Green and white checked. Your dress, the last time I saw you. Running out the door. <laughs> oh, that horrible gingham dress. Oh, God, that takes you back. <sighs> You're off your joy. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Oh, you have little fucking faith. I'm not going to turn you in. Whatever possess you to go off your joy? <sighs> Oh, I see. Oh, God. I saw a picture of him. I promised I'd look after him in Germany. I have to go and find him. How are you going to get out? Do you even have a letter of transit? Absolutely. On my desk in the city. <sighs> Good Christ. Just tell the policeman that. I'm sure they'll wave your right on through. Yeah, haven't figured that bit out yet. I'm very close with General Bing. Of course you are. No. You always did have a knack for making helpful new friends. I mean, I could go see him and ask him to give you a letter of transit. Don't put the general out on my account. I'm sure you've only so many favours you can ask of him. My God. You still hate me, don't you? Yeah, well, I've only been wondering for the past 14 years. We were 16! How could you? Because I liked him. Because he had that adorable beard. I don't know. There isn't a reason for everything. You're the last bloody person who should be off his joy. I can't believe you are. Believe me. Take enough... stuff. Look. Some downer broke into my lab last week. Literally tore the bars off the windows and the ridiculous thing is I forgot to lock the front door. But point is... It's a horrible, terrible world out there. I just don't see you smashing your way into the city without a great deal of help. Oh, no. Not me. I'm living on the King's Road right now. Of course you are. I couldn't exactly have stayed there, could I? Like, nothing happened. <sighs> Look. I'm sorry. This isn't what I meant to... Maybe we could help each other. Maybe I could come by when I'm feeling... better? Brilliant. You ass. How about going to the King's Road, knocking on her door and apologising grievously? And asking nicely for a letter of transit. She knows General Bing. Damn it, lads! She's Scarper! Oh, but what have we here? A friend of Miss Boyle's, innit? Funny, you don't seem all high and mighty. Perhaps we can express our feelings about Miss Boyle to her friend. You did it! You can't deny it! Bloody downer! Downer! Black 
Keep calm. Keep. Perk up, you. Cheer up. What have we come to? You're not bloody mule. Pick what you can carry easily. Snug as a bug on a drug. Now, nah, now, nah, what's all the scuffle? You've been having an altercation in the alley? Uh, nothing you need to worry about, Constable. I'll, uh, just be on my way. And where is it you're on your way to? Precisely. Just off to see an old friend on St George. Oh, well, no need to be in such a hurry. The bridge to St George is, uh... Under renovations. Oh. For how long? I hesitate to prognosticate, sir. Dr. Faraday's the only one who knows how to fix the uh, ridiculous contraptions on them bridges. Word has been sent, but we've not had the courtesy of a reply. Why don't you, uh, I don't know, uh, go to Dr. Faraday's house? Because Dr. F has removed to a secret location, the, uh... Location which headquarters keeps, uh, uh, secret. All right. I'll ask your headquarters then. You some kind of troublemaker. Stay out of city business. I suppose if I want to go and make up with Sally, I need to get Dr. Faraday to come fix his bridge. So I need to visit police headquarters and find out where he's gone. Not risky at all. It's always a little extra complicated with Sally, isn't it? Lovely day for it. I hope the baker comes back from holiday soon. I just want you to know that I appreciate what you do. <sighs> just who do you think you are? Right as rain, sir. Right as rain. That's better. You gave me... Lovely day for it.
Oh, I'm sorry, sir. The bridge is not currently functioning properly. Best come back in a few days. I know. I'm here to see what's wrong. Are they sending random citizens to make repairs to vital transportation links then? <laughs> Pull the other one. No, 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 no. Come back in a few days and the council workers will have this all sorted. Well, that constable wasn't wrong. They don't seem to be letting anyone across. Lovely day for it. All right. Lovely day for it. Father McCartney preaches such thoughtful sermons. won't like it if I get too close to that. Unless I look like a council worker, I suppose. And she writes, And uh, dear Uncle Jack, I keep getting lost in my own neighbor. Lovely day for it. I'm going to take banzai lessons. It's you should concerning. come too. I'm not old or anything, and I haven't been hit on the head. At least not that I remember. <laughs> she asked. Dear Susie. Uh, may I call you Susie? Susie? Dear Susie, I'm glad to say that you clearly are taking your joy. The joy is what helps us forget the past move into the radiant future. And getting lost is just a mild side effect. Fortunately, there's an easy solution. Attempting to locate Dr. Faraday. Uh, can you tell me where I can find him? I'm afraid that information is not for public consumption, sir. I'm gonna tell him where to find Bobby Hickenbotham, though. Oh, for heaven's sake. He's not in a reform club again, is he? He was supposed to go to Lud's own. Well, apparently he feels so guilty that Dr. F has been deprived of the liberties, which are the birthright of every English citizen, he's going to get his arse spanked. Constable Bevan, I'm not the public. I'm from the Department of Archives, Printing and Recycling. We're conducting an investigation into Dr. Faraday's handling of municipal records relating to the maintenance of the inter-insular bridges. Two requests have already been sent by Miss Bing to your superior requesting this information. If I have to go back to the parade, Miss Bing's next letter regarding this apparently deliberate festinence will include the name of the last person I talked to. Will that be you, Constable, or the chap who keeps the constabulary's address book? In that case, sir, why don't you take the elevator on up to records? They'll sort you out. Thank you. I shall. What the hell is festinence? They deprived Dr. Faraday of his liberties, but he made all the bridges.
Percival Hastings, is it not? N- no, it's Arthur. Percival went away. Odd. There are some things you think you will never forget. But then I suppose you do. I'm Arthur. Arthur Hastings. Memories play tricks on you, do they not? You must get back on board! How old are you, Mr. Hastings? I'm 13. They typed my birthday wrong on the card. So why are you here? Lovely weather. Righto. Hello? Constable Bevan said you're the chap who has Dr. Faraday's current address. Uh, that's right. I've got records of everyone's address back there. All alphabetical. I'm quite proud of it. So, where has Dr. Faraday relocated to? Oh, uh, I can't tell you that. You're not a constable. <laughs> I guess it would take two of you to make one constable, if you had platform shoes. <laughs> right. Anyone else you'd like me to not tell you the address of? You're very helpful. That's what everyone says. You know, I used to patrol the street. It was lovely. Shopkeepers give you sandwiches, ladies flirt, the warm sun on your coat. One misstep and they put you in the records room. It's hardly fair. He was breathing when I left him. Where do you think you're going? We're not open to the general public. Bugger all. away before something starts chasing you.
they're alphabetical, maybe I can find Dr. F's address myself. F for Faraday. place organized. Dr. Faraday's in Lud's home. That's crazy. Why? And how do I get to Lud's home? Are they renovating it? Happiness is a choice. Couldn't be better, thanks. Right as rain, sir. Right as rain. Be hicking both of them. He's supposed to check up on Dr. Faraday, but he's at the Reform Club instead, getting his ass spanked. Hmm. He must have some sort of ID that lets him cross to Lud's hole. Maybe I could borrow it. chap is supposed to be getting spanked, isn't it? The one with the credentials for crossing the bridge to Lud's home. I wonder if I can borrow his paperwork while he's busy being punished. What is it? Ah, oh, that's a shame, that is. I told you to leave the moon juice alone, Eddie. What were you thinking? Going near a spanker like that. You never had the common sense that God gave an ordinary bowl of porridge, did you? What am I supposed to tell Sarah then? Can't exactly tell he had died heroically in the line of duty, can I? Wish you'd join the force with me. What a shame. What a shame. Thank God for the spankers, right? 
We can't have downers breaking the pumps any time they want a bucket of moon juice. What would Eddie need Motoline for, anyway? Maybe he had an hobby. What? He was using it to power a set of model trains? Nah, that's not like Eddie. Oh no. Oh, he had a sort of aversion to details. Maybe he was setting rat traps in the sewers. You'd need a torch for that. Yeah, traps require long-term planning. To which he also had a sort of aversion. Well, he wasn't bloody drinking it, was he? What are you getting at? I wonder if Lionel Kashir is dealing in contraband motoline. You might be right. Maybe we should pay him a call. I'm just glad the spanker didn't spark up the motoline. Can you imagine? With half the fire department off on holiday. feeling about this place. Like I should come back. Maybe not during the day. There you are! You fla- Alright! I learned a new patty cake routine. Do you want to try it? again. Life for noise? Pop a joy. Snug as a bug on a drug. Um, hello? Hello. Please hold your invitation up to the camera. Um, I don't exactly have uh, an invitation as such. 
just a healthy curiosity. It's a private club. You must have an invitation. Lovely day for it. I suppose I should come back entirely covered in rubber. Why don't you go away? this with you. in this suit. At least I'll fit in among pervs. On the up, there we go. No, I wouldn't be much of a bobby in a trench going plimsels, eh? <laughs> you catch my drift? I suppose. <laughs> they probably do do this in Rome, don't they?
good time and I wouldn't have any worries. Thing. What's she on about? <laughs> All right, watch out for scurvy. Uncle Jack says. Should clear up soon, I imagine. I suppose I should come back entirely covered in rubber. If I hadn't smoked in high school, I could carry a bit more. in this suit. At least I'll fit in among per- On the other hand, it ought to protect me against electricity and lightning and things. Right. I can take his stuff, and then I can walk across the bridge to Lud's home with his credentials, can't I? Drop some stuff, Arthur, or it's going to be tediously slow going. Very bad. I like it there. 
<laughs> oh, you're not a bloody mule. Pick what you can carry easily. Guys, well, I suppose there are more lingering ways to go. Sloshy. Good place for giant octopi. <laughs> <laughs> 